What's up YouTube? Got another video for you today and unfortunately guys, that surprise that I had for the channel that was actually going to be uh, really important did not ever wind up showing up today. Um, I do have a tracking number with the package though of the item that uh, is a surprise for you guys, but I'm still not going to mention what the surprise is because again, when it actually does get here on Monday, um, I want that again to be a surprise for you guys on the channel. However, it was supposed to get here today. It said uh, delivery by September 18th, and the last uh, little scanner on the little uh, package with the tracking number was Greensboro, departing Greensboro um, about 11 a.m. yesterday. That's the last thing, so I don't know if uh, that package just got left in a truck somewhere at the local post office or if it's sitting somewhere in Greensboro and didn't actually make it onto a truck. That's honestly what I suspect, guys. Um, I really doubt someone actually stole it because if they did, because I have a tracking number, uh, they will not um, be getting away with it for very long. But anyway, I wanted to film this video because someone asked me and other people have asked me, where did I get the cigarette case? And I mention it in my video as Hasenware, but actually I was mispronouncing it and actually misspelling the name. It's actually Hansaware. And how that's spelled is H-A-N-S, wait, yeah, H-A-N-S-A-W-A-R-E dot com. And I had been putting Hasenware um, by mistake. And I will actually have a link down in the comment section to the website because I was like, I looked up Hasenware and then the, the site didn't show up and I was like, oh, okay, I guess the, the site went out of business. They weren't selling enough German cigarette cases here in America or something. That wasn't the case. I, I was just, I had just been misspelling it. So I really want to give you guys the uh, proper link to the website because I had been putting hasenware.com and people when they click on that link it doesn't exist because that website doesn't exist because I misspelled it and I didn't even realize that but again this is the Berlin case and I might even be able to link this exact cigarette case if you guys want however I really don't want to do that I just want to leave the link down in the comment section so that way you guys can go look and see which ones you want because they make a brass version of this they make a higher end version of this they make a higher end brass version of this they make a slim version of this and they make there's got to be almost a hundred different cigarette cases that they make um from there on that website so i'm gonna go ahead and pack this cigarette down that's just another little update on the cigarette case because again I thought I thought I was spelling it correctly but I wasn't so unfortunately to those people who I was trying to help months in the past spelling it hasn't where I wasn't really helping them but I didn't know at the time that I was spelling it wrong but <clears throat> I can say nothing good uh, nothing uh, I can't say anything good. I can say nothing but good things about the cigarette case. It's in the highest quality cigarette case, in my opinion, that I've seen. Now, granted, Germanos makes um, cigarette cases as well, but I'm not going to lie to you guys. And I think probably both Hansa Ware and Germanus could potentially even be sharing some of the dyes because uh, Germanus makes cigarette cases that are very similar to these. They're not exact, but because you can tell by the maker's mark in there, one of them is going to be a Germanus maker's mark and the other one is of course going to be the Hansen Ware or Hansen, Hansa wear uh, German maker's mark. And again, I can display that for you guys real quick right here, which I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it, but this is an authentic 100% legit German cigarette case. And I don't know if it's gonna show 
uh, you can't really see it, but you, yeah, you can kind of, but I apologize for how shit this camera quality is. Um, I'll probably film another video in the future where I can actually better show it. But again, I just got the cheapest, one of the cheapest ones that they had because I just wanted something dur durable enough to where it will withstand and protect my cigarettes while I was at work at the, um, well, actually, I'm not going to mention where I was working. But anyway, um, basically where I was working, <clears throat> your pants as well as your shirt and everything had a very high likelihood of getting wet at the time. And so I wanted something because anytime, like even when I was working at Food Lion, cleaning stuff, uh, my pants had sometimes would get wet if I like accidentally spilt like the water that I was filling up in like a mop bucket if there was a mess and stuff like that. Like sometimes they'd send me out there to clean stuff like that instead of stocking. And if I would get any water from the mop bucket on my jeans pocket where I had my pack of cigarettes, if it's a hard pack or a soft pack, it would destroy the pack and destroy some of the cigarettes in there. And so I finally decided, you know, I've always wanted one of these um, ever since I became a cigarette smoker. And now I actually have legitimate reason to because if your jeans get wet and they're not like, like you're not, like this isn't waterproof. So like if you fall into a lake or you fall into the ocean, I mean, your cigarettes are still gonna get destroyed. However, if your jeans are waterlogged, however, they don't have, um, like again, they're not actually underwater. This will keep them dry. However, this being steel, it has uh, rusted in a few areas, but again, it's just surface rust. And uh, if you look at any old German cigarette cases, they look the same, especially ones from World War II. They have a bunch of rust all over them, but again, it's just surface rust. So I don't really care. I think it adds a patina to it, but. But unfortunately, I don't have the box that this came in. But if you guys remember the video that I made back reviewing this, back when I first got it, the box is literally just a little white cardboard sleeve. It's not really anything uh, to write home about. It doesn't say Hansa Wear with their like German Eagle looking design, Imperial German Eagle looking design. It doesn't have any of that. It's literally just a white sleeve that these come in. And that's standard for Hansa wear. <clears throat> but again, I just like giving you guys the actual link to where you can get these. And uh, I won't be sending the link in any email, <laughs> but I will be leaving the link in the comment section down below if you want to check out their website you can but again it's just hamzaware.com which both them as well as germanos which is the more well-known german cigarette cases but those are more expensive for whatever reason i mean from what i can tell i'm guessing maybe the quality is just a hair better on uh, Germanos cigarette cases, but again guys, I've never owned one. I do want to get one at some point in the future, but I just don't, again, I'm not employed right now. Um, I will be employed in the future and I probably will be getting one in the future. But again, right now I'm just, you know, kind of like, okay, well, since the uh, surprise package that I wanted to unbox with you guys didn't wind up showing up today. But I mean, I've had that happen in the past too, where like it'll say, back when I lived up in Boone, oh, departed Greensboro a day and a half ago, and it doesn't show up the day it's supposed to, but then it shows up the next mailing day, so I'm guessing that's what's gonna happen. It's nothing to get worried about or concerned about yet. Because again, any post office employee, if they see a tracking number, which I've never heard of anyone trying to steal stuff out of the mail that has tracking numbers on it, because again, if it has a tracking number, it's almost impossible to fucking steal it from the United States Postal Service. But, and again, I am smoking a Lucky Strike, so I'm not smoking it properly again.
but that's just because when I smoke it, like pulling the smoke into my mouth, then inhaling it, I don't actually get the flavor of the toasted tobacco, which that's the only reason why I'm smoking these. I mean, I might as well just switch to Camel Unfilteds if I'm going to be forever smoking like that. But again, with Camel Filters, I do now smoke like that because when you do pull all the smoke into your mouth, fill your mouth up with nothing but smoke, and then inhale it, it gives you a much better buzz. Like even then, like in my How to Smoke a Cigarette or different ways to smoke a cigarette, that works even better and it gives you a buzz. Well, I should say a better buzz than smoking it like this. But again, even though you're not getting a buzz, it still does give you nicotine the way I'm smoking it right now with the Lucky Strike. And I actually get to taste the full flavor of the cigarette. So, so again, for these, that's how I smoke them. Because again, the, the, the only reason why people smoke these is for that toasted flavor. And if you're not getting the toasted flavor, then there's no really reason to be smoking these. And again, I will be branching out into other cigarettes, unfiltered cigarettes, as well as filtered cigarettes in the future. However, I have a shit ton of these right now, so I really need to cut down um, on the back stock I have in my room of all of these. But again, I will have the Eagle 20s review out uh, once my MCO lighter comes in. And again, I got my MCO lighter. It's a new old stock restoration hardware. So it is 100% authentic. It's not one of the cheaper Japanese or Chinese clones. But what I really hope is one day they bring back Imco lighters in Austria because they truly are, from what I've heard, they truly are one of the best lighters in the world. However, they still don't, they're not quite on a Zippo level. However, this is a lighter I would be willing to carry every single day um, alongside or, well, like flip flop between a Zippo and an Imco. Does that mean I'm not gonna collect Zippos anymore? Again, no, I mainly only collect Zippos. But I just figure, you know, something a little unique, something a little different to use sometimes can be nice. And again, the build quality is uh, quite on par with the Zippo. However, there's more moving parts in an MCO lighter. But again, if you get an Austrian one, the moving parts will never be an issue. But again, I, I can't say anything on the Chinese clones or the Japanese clones. And I know there are South Korean MCOs that were actually made in Austria. But what they did in Austria is they etched the little uh, whatever company it was in South Korea that was selling them. And back for a while, you could actually find those. And those were one of the most like legitimate, well, besides restoration hardware ones and stuff like that. And they actually came in a little bit of a nicer box or whatever. But I also found out due to the fact that MCO back in the day would put so many different brands on them. Instead of having their own little box that they'd come in that says MCO, instead of that, they would just put, they would make their own box for their MCO lighters that has whatever company is gonna be selling them. So like, for example, Restoration Hardware, they had just literally, it's just like a little, kind of like a sleeve like this came in, but it's a little bit more round and it's just uh, says, imported from Austria for, or imported by Imco Austria for restoration hardware and stuff like that. And restoration hardware, I'm sure, had to deal with them back when the company existed in Austria, saying, okay, well, put this stuff on the, you know, packaging and shit like that. But anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. And again, I apologize for not being able to do the surprise video today. Uh, but I don't have any authority over the United States Postal Service, so it's just gonna have to wait till Monday, unfortunately, because Sunday mail doesn't run, or it, it might wind up showing up Sunday if it's priority mail, but I highly doubt it. 
But anyway, guys, again, if you like the video, like, share, comment, subscribe, anything you do helps, and I'll see you in the next video.